We did. And look at that camouflage. It's a headless spot. <laughs> no, that is actually beautiful Tamba. And you can see that he is quite full up there. It seems like he's got quite a full belly. Like I was saying earlier on today, uh, Tandy was very efficient yesterday and she managed to bring down a diker. Doesn't seem like there's anything around, but she's fine now. Sorry guys, I just have to answer the radio. Standing by. Hey firm, I just got here. Both Ingwiz are where the, we left them yesterday. Hello, beautiful Tandy. This is only, I think, the second time that I've actually seen her. Or well, the third time, but very, very happy to know that she's here. Now, we also bumped into a hyena on the way here that was running with a piece of meat in its mouth, but um, she went down straight into the drainage line, so I'm not too sure. Maybe it's one of the females related to the little cub we saw earlier on, and they're not at the den, maybe because they've been looking for food. Just like this beautiful girl was doing earlier on. Now, we are getting rained upon. There is a bit of, um, still, a few droplets in and out, and I think maybe Tandy saw something earlier on that she wasn't too happy about. But Tamba, not too worried, he is up at the perfect spot. I don't know if maybe going back a little bit will give us a better mm. view. He's just eating the last remains of the kill. All right, let's, let me just maybe reposition. Oh, and there are some impala in the distance. Maybe that's what she was looking at, actually. All right, guys, I'm just going to move, see if maybe we can have a bit of a better look at Tamba's face. Because it's a bit of a tricky spot where he is. But, ah, oh, I think this is going to work much better. We're going to be able to see his face. Hey, Seb. All right, perfect. Hello, boy. Well, someone's having breakfast. There we go, and you see how well... <laughs> Alright, it is a bit of a, of a gruesome view, so if you have any issue with what we're looking at, um, please maybe just go for a cup of coffee, <laughs> wait until he's done with his, um, with his kill. Not too bad, it seemed like it was a small antelope, like I was saying, a great diker, which is one of the smaller ones that we have in this area, and I'm surprised it's lasted this two leopards so long. We were actually slightly convinced yesterday that they were not going to be around here this morning, because the kill wasn't too big. But maybe they were already full from another kill, and that's why it lasted. Hello, Tamba. Maybe some hair in your mouth. Hmm. And there is beautiful Tandy, always the queen of the termite mounds, hey? She's got some striking eyes, I must say. Now that I'm able to see her a bit more in the open. And you see, it's this weather that's making her a bit edgy. Maybe she knows by experience that she's going to be a little bit careful. Now it's properly... Well, not properly raining, but definitely a lot more rain coming down. But they have a wonderful spot in this massive jackalberry that I'm being told was also one of Karula's favorite jackalberries. And it's a massive tree. Very beautiful. And funny enough, when I first started at Juma, I always said, oh, I would love to see a leopard up this tree. And now we get the both of both worlds. We get one leopard on top of this beautiful tree. Look at that. Oh, that is incredible. So Tamba has claimed the tree. And then, of course, his mother was down on a termite mound. So I don't think <laughs> we get the perfect spots for leopards, all of them in one place. And it is just one of the biggest jackalberries that we have around Juma, or at least that I have seen. And there he is, still busy feeding. Oh, my radio, standing by. A firm, you can make your way, it's just myself here, both the Mafazi and the Mantuan. James, you're wondering how many species of felines are there in Africa? Well, ooh, I think quite a quite a number of them. 
because the uh, Feli Day family is quite extensive and it englobes everything from wildcats to servals to lions to leopards. So I'm not too sure. I would take my book out and try to find out from you but I'm gonna do that in a little bit when it stops raining because I think I'm gonna damage my book if I take it out now. So if you don't mind holding on to that question for a while longer I'll gladly try to find the answer for you in a little bit. But I would assume like at least of the ones that we see around this area we've got lions, leopards, servals, caracals, wildcats. So at least five of them. I'm sure I'm missing quite a few of the smaller ones. But we'll be able to find out in just a little bit because the rain is now coming down and it's odd to have so much rain at this time of the year. This is normally our winter time and we're having some summer weather. But you are just happy up there, aren't you Tamba? You've got the best spot and you've got breakfast. What else could you ask for? Country Gal, you're wondering how much longer Tandi is going to be with Tamba. Well, that is a question that we're all very curious to know the answer because it seems like Tandi has been seen around Tingana quite often lately and they've also been sharing kills by reports that we've had around the radio. Perhaps Tingana has actually been trying to steal them. So all of it indicates that Tandi is perhaps coming into Easter soon. So maybe she won't be with Tamba for all that much longer. Although I feel like Tamba is a bit young still to be on his own but I suppose that at least for the next three to four months Tandy will be around Tamba because even if she does go into heat and if she does fall pregnant then Tamba will have at least three months notice <laughs> before he's um, pushed away from Tandy but often in I've particularly found it with uh, male leopards that they tend to hang around their mothers for quite a while even after they've got their first litter so we'll see. But I would say that Tamba's still got a few months and she is still providing for him because she's the one that made this kill and brought it to him. But as we know, he's also capable of going hunting by himself. I think Taylor had him hunting Nyala a few days ago. So he's also starting to develop his skills as a hunter more and more. And of course, he loves eating as we can see. <laughs> I think we arrived at a very good time. 